Once upon a time, in a wild, wild world, there were two wolf brothers living in their home lair with their papa wolf. They lived in peace until hunters took their dad away. The wolf brothers wandered for days and nights, learning how to live on their own for the first time. That's when the big brother discovered that the little one was not an ordinary wolf, but a super wolf. They decided to head south to the distant land of their ancestors. But the journey was long and dangerous. Still, the wolf brothers made new friends on the way. They learned more about the world, but danger seemed to always follow them after a bad accident. They were separated. The big brother had been hurt, and the hunters finally captured him. They put him in a cage, but when he finally escaped, he went to search for his little brother. He soon found out that the little wolf had joined a coyote cult, and he would not leave them. Suddenly, their mother showed up. After all that time, she said she came to help rescue him. They begged the coyote leader, but she would not release the little wolf. He was their idol. So they had to knock her out to escape. The wolf brothers, now reunited, followed their rogue mother far into the desert to her hideaway. Wake up, Sean. Mm. Dude, come on. What? What time is it? Get up. It's so beautiful. Check it out. So? Yeah, okay. Good call. Wow. That's amazing. I know. Is your eye okay? Yeah. It just itches. It's okay, Nano. I... Promise. Yeah. Uh, okay. I love you. No matter what happens. You hear me? Yeah. I love you too. Ha <laughs> <laughs> <sighs>
<sighs> Diaz brothers. Always. So... Are you still having those bad dreams? You know, about Lisbeth? Yeah. Sometimes... I feel that she's around, coming after me. It's scary. Dude, I bet she's having nightmares about you. Yeah, but she's still out there. Somewhere. Creeps me out. Listen, we're far away from her. Okay, we're together again. Safe. Hope so. Sean. Are we criminals now? No way. We did exactly what we had to. If the cops catch us, we'll be judged for what we did. That's for sure. Yeah. I know. Well, we're almost at the border. Finally. I like it here, but we'll have to leave soon. I know. I'm sorry, Anano. Sean, I know it's been a long time. Can you tell me the rest of the wolf story? Oh, yeah, I can tell you. <sighs> been forever since we left off. Way too long. Hmm, let's see. Oh yeah, okay. So, thanks to their mama wolf, the wolf brothers barely escaped from the coyote cult. She led them to her secret lair, deep in the red desert. The wolf brothers rested for a while, but at some point, they'd have to continue their journey south. They were closer than ever to their father's land, but between them and their destination, lied a mighty fire unicorn. <laughs> but she's nice, so they become friends. <laughs> uh, um, excuse me, who's telling the story? You are, but it's my story too, right? Dude, this is my version. You can make your own. Okay. Cool. So... <clears throat> the Wolf Brothers... finally see the edge... of their new home. Okay, okay. I gotta think of my own version first. So you don't influence me. Haha. <laughs> Okay, Stephen King Jr., get on that. After we pack this shit up and head back to town. Gotta clean up our stuff before we leave. This place is too pretty. Every star looked the same until we used Karen's old guidebook. I swear Dad had that same book in the garage. Yeah. I think he did. Why did he never show it to us? Maybe it reminded him of Mom too much. Oh. Yeah. Right. Hey, I can help. Just tell me what you want to put in there. You are the man. Pretty useless with the crazy moonlight we had. <laughs> but it scares the coyotes away. Activate flashlight. On the way. C 
God damn. That food was amazing. <laughs> Thanks, Joanne. Let's clean up this mess. Not if it cleans up by itself. <sighs> Stop. Daniel. Can't catch it, huh? <sighs> no shit. Now cut it out. Jeez. You're no fun. Yep. Still need our processed sugar in this hippie desert. Yo, Captain Can, can you take these away? Sure. And no funny business. Of course not. Perfect formation. time. Good idea. I'm glad you can still draw after. You know. <laughs> Me too, Daniel. But if I can see it in my mind, I can still sketch anything. Hmm. Almost. That's so cool. I don't want you to stop drawing. Ever. <laughs> Thanks, man. This is so cool. Hey, can you draw me as a superhero? Like, striking a pose over the canyon. Hmm, I can try. Hurts a little. I'm glad we're sleeping in. Tada. Finished. Let me check it out. Jeez. Do I really look that evil? He looks more like a super villain. I'm glad we had these. Not a fan of desert critters. So incredible to see all those stars and planets up close. <laughs> it's like we're right there. I hope we can go watch the stars again. Mom said there's a moon eclipse coming up soon. <laughs> I'm in. This place is cool. I could just move here. Well. Let's hit the trail, cowboy. What are you doing? Dude, we don't have time to play. Come on, let's go. <sighs> okay, okay. I wish we saw more falling stars. Or any. <laughs> hey, we saw the Milky Way, dude. How cool is that? Yeah, that's true. And Mars. That was so cool Arthur and Stanley let us use the telescope. <laughs> yeah, these guys are real cool.
Hey, see this? Looks like the ones you did back in that cabin. When you got sick. Oh, totally. Wait, does that mean other people were here? Of course. Maybe someone from away did it. Oh, I bet it was Joanne. Didn't Joanne will let me help her with her sculpture when we get back? Hell yeah. You're like the magic assistant. It's nice to be able to use my power out here. Not hide it. Yeah, Karen was right. They're all cool with it. Mom doesn't say much about my power. Why do you think? She's... Um, confused. Amazing that anything can grow out here. Does it ever rain in the desert? Well... Oh. Uh... Good question. Anyway. What I was saying is, like, what do you mean? She's my mom. Well, you know, I mean, she hasn't seen you for years. Not sure she can deal with all of this at the same time. Huh. It must be weird for her. <laughs> I hear you. My legs are gonna be like yours after all this hiking now. Oh, shit. Hey, you know who I'd see having a Looks like a job here? for our local super psychic boy. <laughs> who? <laughs> Brody. He'd love it. Like, he could have his own radio station and everything. Yeah, definitely. It would be so So? Maybe you can help us get out of here? Mm, I'll try. Step back. Be super careful. <sighs> there you go. I hope it's okay. <laughs> nice, man. see what Joanne is doing. <laughs> Go for it. I have to bring back the telescope to Stanley and Arthur. Went to town for weekly supplies. Some pancakes left in the kitchen? <laughs> back soon. Daniel, you copy? Yes, I read you. 10-4. I have a pancake alert in the kitchen. Repeat. Pancake alert. Oh, man. Sorry. I was gonna eat with Joanne. Over and out. 10-4. No flying pancakes today. This part of town is dead this time of year. I should stay around here.
Guess people came here with ease and never left. It's so cool that people want to give a second life to their stuff. We helped Joanne set up this giant vacuum with binoculars, as David calls it. Love the energy out here, with everyone building stuff as they please. This place is the ultimate playground for Daniel. Joanne can throw a total rager out here, but without asshole neighbors. I love how they recycle everything into art, construction, or agriculture here. Joanne picks up all kinds of scraps from the desert. She even found a boat once. There's power cuts all the time here. But no one's really bothered by it. Joanne says she needs all this junk to grow inspiration from. Karen and Joanne spend evenings playing and chatting. <sighs> Kinda like me and Lila. Back in the day. <sighs> Dude, remember when you totally fell asleep during that Bollywood flick? Because it was so lame after those cool cartoons. <sighs> Whatever. You miss Priya and Stanley teaching me how to dance. Love watching movies under the stars. Like a drive-in, with no cars. <laughs> Looking at this place, I see that Karen really wanted to get away from it all. <laughs> Literally. I bet Hippie started this place. I'm starting to see why now. <laughs> Arthur and Stanley probably want their telescope back. Morning, Sean. Now that's some real patriots. Morning, guys. Huh. You think they picked this up at the gas station? I hope not. It's too cute. <laughs> Looks like Brody, the bear. Wonder where he's at now. Hmm. <laughs> he could write our whole story. 
Oh, not again. <laughs> it's kind of cute, though. Hey, what's up? Morning, Sean. Join us. Have a seat. Hey, just in time for our special desert brew. And dust free. Thanks. So much. Sean, it's too early to be so awake. No kidding. Hey, how was your sleepover in the canyon? <sighs> Amazing. We watched the sunrise. Daniel loved it too. That's my favorite view out here. It's like ancient times, but it never gets old. Unlike us, darling. That canyon will be here long after we're gone. Hope you looked up. We did. Thanks for hooking us up. <laughs> Anytime. Even my daughter Becky loves to stargaze when she visits us. That's the only way to get Arthur to camp now. Becky is the real astronomer in the family. Wonder where she got this. From her mom, probably. Hope you guys get to meet Becky. That sounds cool, but we gotta be leaving soon. We still have a ways to go. Technically, you're already in a way. I get it, you still have to find your home. We were lucky, and old enough, to find ours here. So, why did you come out here? Because we got tired of people's bullshit. Things change. But being gay is still dangerous. The end. Sean, I'm almost 60, and I was a happily married man for 20 years, until I came out. I don't blame my family for being in shock, but I didn't think they'd disown me. My other daughters won't even talk to me anymore. So why stay? <sighs> After we got together, we both had serious breakdowns. Then we got the hell out of the Bay Area. For the better. I hear that. I'm just so fucking tired of running. I hope me and Daniel find our own... away. You will. People come here to reset their life. Become the person they want to be. Or used to be. You're smart. You'll figure out your next direction. Right, Gramps? Speak for yourself, Grandpa. My body might be 59, but I'm 25. <laughs> uh-huh. I'll remember that on the next hike. I'm gonna see what Daniel's up to. Thanks for the desert, Brew. These two remind me of Claire and Steven. In a weird, hippie version. Arthur and Stanley cannot wait for the 4th of July. <sighs> me neither. Place. You're a little too young to be stalking me, dude. Um, you know what? I saw them kissing the other day. Kinda weird. You know it's actually normal for people in love to kiss, right? I know. I just mean, they're really cute together. I hope somebody who cares about me like that when I get old. But hey, artist! Come by Joanne's place. We're making wild sculptures. <laughs> Hold up. I'll be over in a minute. You don't shit where you sleep, kid. <laughs> okay, David. Thanks for the explanation. Glad to see that artists are allowed to make a mess. What's up, Joanne? See for yourself. Man, check this out! Okay, Daniel, let's take a little break. Got it! That child is... something special. Yeah. I hear this one a lot. Don't worry. Mm, yeah, I bet. <laughs> but you have your own talent, Sean. 
<laughs> I'm dead serious. Talent? Thanks. But I still have a lot to learn. Of course you do. Only dumbasses think they know everything. It's okay to not know stuff. Don't worry so much about the outcome. An artist has to take a leap of faith about every other week. So why are you all the way out here now? <laughs> Easy. I started selling my work for good money. And as soon as I did, everyone turned into smiling sharks. Listen, if you want to be an artist, you will be. <laughs> it's not always easy, but in the end, it's pretty fucking cool. Speaking of, do you mind giving me a hand here? Oh, uh, I don't know if I can. Yes, you can. I just need your input, okay? <sighs> okay. Sure. <laughs> Why not? Ah, there you go. Now, go stand over there. Daniel, you ready to start again? Oh, yes. Hold on. So, for my next trick, I'd love to see if you can connect these three pieces. I've made a model of what I have in mind here, but go ahead and be the artist. And we don't need a crane to lift this stuff. <laughs> Daniel can snap these together like block toys. Hell yeah. Let's do this. Maybe that's supposed to represent the Earth. Or a ball. Ready, Sean? <laughs> okay, Daniel. Can you... slam dunk the Earth ball onto the base? Watch the... Be careful, Daniel. Don't want you to get hurt. do like the model, but with the spider on top. Hey, can you turn that earth ball around a little bit? See, Sean. <sighs> Looks like a freaking steampunk spider. Now, let's throw on that spider. You got it. I thought my art was weird. Hmm. Now... Let's move Mr. Pancake's head onto the pedestal. Check it out! Feel like we're almost done. Well, I think this is it. Looks good to me. Only if the muse approves. Not what I had in mind, but it's still cool. <laughs> you did a great job, Inanna. Well, Sean, Daniel, I think art might be in your family DNA. There's no escape. I think we're done for the day. Thank you so much for your help. Okay. <laughs> that was fun. Joanna's so chill about her art. That's what makes her talented. I bet you would like Minecraft. It, it's kind of like this. Yeah, I've heard about it. This part of town is dead this time of year. I miss those bus trips with Lila and the guys. 
What's the story with this one? Worried politics. Yeah, you hate it. You okay, Joanne? Yeah, as fine as frogs here, sweetie. I, I like to take a good look at a piece after I'm done working on it. Uh, it helps me connect with it. Cool. Well, thanks for letting me be a part of it. Oh, thank you, Sean. See you around, hon. No matter what happened before, Karen did hook us up here. That counts. I wish Daniel wasn't the only kid in town. This place is such a trip. It's kind of like a desert mirage. You think you can see it, but the closer you get, it changes. I thought the people here would be like freaks, but they're just sick of the bullshit. Now I sound like a local. I guess I'm always gonna be a visitor. I hid something super cool for you to find. Will you accept this quest to find my secret treasure? 10-4. Okay. You're on it, Anno. If I can find you in a forest, I can find anything. Yes! Thanks, Sean. Listen carefully. You must find the two items that will reveal where the treasure is. Deal. So for the first item is near the place with many wings that cannot fly. That's, that's it. That's your clue? You can do it, big brother. <laughs> I hope. And don't bother checking mom's trailer. It's outside. You're in the middle zone. Yo, can you give me that last hint? Are you serious? The item is under the building that will blow you down. Getting closer. Oh, it's burned! Ahoy, matey. I found a map of a way. Yeah. Don't lose it because you'll need it to match up with the other part. <laughs> Got it. Now, arr, for the second item, you'll need to find something that eats the sun. Uh-huh. Sure. And I know, what was that last clue? Dude, this is not that hard. 
be set in Isom is where the sun meets the earth. Nope. As cold as ever. You're way out there, dude. Hmm. You're in the middle zone. <laughs> These guys are like social directors here. I still love to party. Getting closer. Warm. Excuse me, water boy. <laughs> Did you remember to feed the crops? I never forget. Ask mom. But no way I could grow stuff like she can. Mm, maybe in Mexico. Oh yeah. We can grow a lot of stuff there. Daniel? Copy? Give me a clue. Come on! This is so easy. I've hidden the item in a place that loves the sun. We could also try to be self-sufficient when we're in Mexico. Not too far. Dude, we could put red food coloring in the water and turn this into a blood tank. Yeah, but then everybody would freak out. Plus, you can't do food coloring out here. You're warming up. Found it. Nice. And it's a tracing paper sheet with a red cross. Yeah. Now just match up to the other paper. And the treasure is yours, Captain Diaz. Ahoy, matey. I think I have the whole treasure map. Aye, Captain. Now you just gotta dig your way to the treasure. Hope you know where to go. That's a cool-ass map you drew, dude. Thanks. Chris told me everything about treasure hunting. Just grab it! You're here! Ooh. Looks like something's buried here. Yes! I think I have found the hidden treasure. <laughs> Under an old trailer. Looks like gold, right? Um, I'm not a prospector, but it looks like the real deal. Store! You know what time it is. Victory! Dance time! Come on, dance! <laughs> yeah! <laughs> you asked for it. Gotcha. We'll help her out with the groceries. place. <laughs> but that's what's cool about it. Hey. 
Hey, what's Glad up? Glad to see you survived hey. the night in the desert. Morning. <laughs> Howdy, Sean. How was the town trip? <laughs> Hate these trips. Uh, people look at us as if we're aliens. Here come the sand people. <laughs> The deserters have returned with offerings from Das Kapital. Jolie! <laughs> <laughs> oh, I missed you. Next time, you're coming with us. <laughs> we'll see. <laughs> Looking good. What's your secret? Defying death on a daily basis. And hydrating. Oh, right. Can't forget your goodies. <laughs> hey, thanks, Angel. <laughs> Here. Ah, uh, you're the man, Karen. Catch you later. Take care. Hey, so how did you guys like your night in the canyon? It was amazing. So many stars. So quiet. Good call, Karen. I knew you'd like it, stargazer. Glad you got to see that. Hi, Mom. How was the town? Town life always sucks. <laughs> but we got something for you. Think fast. Whoa, yes! Thanks, David. <laughs> you want to play catch, Danny boy? Totally. Me and Dad always used to play, but I'm way better now. No matter what he's been through, he just wants to be a kid <laughs> and play. Yep. Daniel hasn't been like this in forever. You've all been a good influence on him. About time you boys went camping. Hope Daniel didn't get scared by all the critters. Yeah. Not anymore. He's seen a lot worse. And that made him tougher. And he can defend himself. You're right. And he does like to show off. Maybe too much. <laughs> you boys have been here over a month. And I still can't get over Daniel's... <sighs> skills. <laughs> Me neither. But I never figured it out, so I don't try anymore. Well, take it from an old soldier. But... You trained him well. He's a good kid. Thanks. I tried my best. I guess it's reassuring. But what do I know? Never met someone with a superpower before. I try to be a good influence. Not always easy, but he listens to me. I don't know if I did right. Guess you never really know. Listen, raising a kid is the toughest job in the world. Trust me, combat was easier. Oh, you didn't tell me you had kids. How many? <laughs> None. I was a stepdad. Or, in her case, a step douche. <laughs> I'm divorced now. But I never had the chance to do the right thing for my stepdaughter before she died. We were like oil and water, and she was always starting shit. Guess that's hard for a kid to get a new father. Especially one like me. I just had no clue how to deal with her. Wish I did. Anyway, you can't go back. <laughs> nope. Thanks for talking, David. Better start my delivery now. Found some weird snacks in town. Arthur's gonna freak. <laughs> Catch you later, Sean. Oh. <laughs> okay, time out. Oh my God. I'm gonna melt. That was awesome, Mom. Now I know why they don't play baseball in the desert. You throw way better than Sean. <laughs> <laughs> We're not done out here yet. Let's get this food inside before it melts. No problem. She is so cool. You think? <laughs> Joanne is so cool. Stanley's so cool. The heat is so cool. <laughs> You're way too easy, bro. Whatever. Can't help it if I like Karen. <laughs> just be you and I know. I'm just saying. Don't get too cozy here. This is a rest stop. I know.
One thing Claire and Karen have in common, their love for pancakes. Is that a new statue? That woman is amazing. Had no clue there was a network of seed pirates. Karen's a real life hacker. Karen takes on some small piece works for a living. Must pay better than poetry. Feels like a hundred degrees in that. Brody's so good at describing painful situations. And seeing the good into it. Yeah, I ghosted her. But so glad to see Lila's back. Fucking trailer. 105 degrees out here. Dad was an absolute fan of this movie. Huh. Maybe they were nerds together. Ugh. I wish Karen didn't tell me she got a rattlesnake out of the toilet last week. <sighs> Gotta keep my eye lube handy. <sighs> Glad I don't need it as much. She changed my diapers, but... <clears throat> it feels kind of awkward to be here. <sighs> so good to have a home. Again. And a real bed. Didn't realize how much I miss Cassidy's voice. And her songs. And... Oh, dude. I'm so glad Jacob and his sister are doing okay. They deserve some peace. So cute. <laughs> Looks like Lila has some competition now. Looks like they all finally found their home.
Karen looks so young and agile on this picture. Hmm. Hard times. She's really good at rewriting her own life. This one's pretty intense. I think I get it. I totally forgot about that key. Whoa. I should have gone through that flash drive weeks ago. Hey, Dad. Lila always knew how to crack me up. I do miss west weather, sometimes. Yeah, I bet. <laughs> You've been here over a month now. What do you think of our little oasis? This place is like another world. Don't even know how to describe it. <laughs> I think you just did. It has a unique atmosphere. <laughs> That's why people come here from all over the country. For their own reasons. Not perfect, but it works. Hope it's worth it. It's not easy to live as outcasts. Off the grid? Clearly not. We ought to be almost self-sufficient. And it's a very lonely life. It's cool you found your safe space. I guess. You can't escape reality. Even here. We just live slightly apart from it. So... How did you end up here? <laughs> this place is not on the map. Like most of us, I was first brought here by someone. Maggie. After I failed to make it in New York, I was lucky enough to meet her down in Florida. She's had a tough life. This place was her getaway. She's long gone now, but... Her name is still written all over this place. Well, thanks for bringing us here. Oh, Sean. I'm glad I was able to help you. <laughs> By the way, can you grab your brother so we can all uh, talk? Is everything okay? Uh, yeah, I just thought we could spend this day together. Just the three of us. Big brother to Superwolf. We need you at Karen's trailer. Copy? Sure. I mean, 10 4. <laughs> Hola. Hola, compadre. How about a trek around the canyon today? You in? Totally. Let's pack then. should have camped near that little creek. It was so perfect. Nah. 
You'll need a good night's sleep after all this. And the car's just half a mile down the path. This place makes for a pretty cool bedroom, though. Man, I'm beat. Oh, sorry. Just got one last thing to show you guys. I can't get enough of this place. <sighs> Come on, Daniel. Give me your hand. <clears throat> Slow down, Mom. You walk too fast. More walk, less talk. Then you'll pass me up. <sighs> Guys, check this out. Now this is nature's art. It's so big. And pretty. And so quiet. Except for the birds of prey. Shh. Listen. Serious? If we're lucky, yeah. Oh! 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 Uh oh! I hear a wolf. Better be careful of hunters out here. The Wolf Brothers can't be trapped. You'd help us. You must hide all the time, Mom. There's not a lot to do, but it's enough for me. Good thing Joanne likes to come with me. Oh, I bet she would be fun to go hiking with. Well, not when I go too fast. She's all about the journey. We usually find a good pace. Uh, <laughs> usually. Joanne is like Sean. They make art, so they stop to look at stuff. You're way more like me. Fast. Yeah, I am like you, Daniel. So let's hurry up. I love to come here to get away from... <laughs> away. <laughs> I bet. It's the best spot. <laughs> Let's sit down. So, hey. I do appreciate that you guys stuck around this long. Thank you. So, now that you know what's better, do you kind of regret leaving and everything? I made a decision to never have regrets. Although, you two would be the best reason. Just know I love both of you so much, and I'm proud of who you are, and where you're going. <clears throat> By the way, uh, if you wanted to, you could come with us to Mexico. That would be cool. I would love to come see you settled into a new home. You're almost there. But I have to be upfront with both of you. What happened in Haven Point is catching up on us. Huh? What do you mean? When we were in town, uh, we saw some stories in the papers. The feds are definitely tracking us down in the region. Shit. And they'll find us. Well... Figures. This can not last forever. So... This is it? See you, Nana. We'll leave tomorrow. Can you hand me that bag, Sean? That's why I brought you back here. I made these for the 4th of July, 
but this is better. Oh, I love those things. Whoa, awesome. Cool. Let's light up the sky. Um, are you guys all set up to leave? No. So that's we have to leave again. I think... I'm kind of scared. Oh, oh honey. How far is the border? Not that far. Uh, maybe, uh, five. Or six hours drive? It won't be easy crossing that border. So I'm gonna give you a head start on the police. Wait, how? What's your plan? The cops are after me too, for what happened in Nevada. So they can catch me instead of you. Fair trade. Mom, you'll go to jail for helping us. It's not about me right now. We need to get your asses to Puerto Lobos. Thank you. So much, Karen. I knew what I was doing when I came to Haven Point looking for your brother. I felt it was the right thing to do. And I feel the same today. I tried to live by my own rules, no matter what. I don't expect you boys to be like me. But try to stay true to yourselves. This is your life. Don't let anybody get in the way. Fuck the rules. We'll do whatever we can to survive. That's fair. Yes, it is. You took care of Daniel. All the way from Seattle to Arizona. Nobody could ask for a better brother. Or son. Okay. This is the last roundup. Wait. Let me see bye to Joanne. Alright. I'm gonna...
go do one last checkup on the truck before you hit it. And don't forget what we talked about. It's your life, Sean. Uh, you should go see David. He has something for you. Okay. Hey, Karen. I'm better with drawing than writing, but still, here it goes. We're both so different, and I get now that it's okay. It is what it is. I'm sorry for getting you into this mess. It is ours to deal with, and you shouldn't be involved. We'll try to reach out once the dust has settled, if we can. Good luck with life, and everything. Sean. Either Karen was desperate for a job, or she loved working with kids. I have to get one of these for Puerto Lobos. Daniel's a total addict now. Tell can't believe she's kept it. Huh. Is that the same person who rode her back in Beaver Creek? <sighs> she was that close. Sucks she had to pay all that money back. Should go see what David wants now. <laughs> Sean, hey. Karen said you wanted to see me? Yeah, but go grab that police scanner inside first. I gotta put these new plates on the car. Sure. Come on. I'll join you when I'm done. Must be his ex-wife. He's changed so much since this. And not for the best. I feel you, David. Huh. 
Arthur said David could fix anything. <laughs> he hopes. That's right. I never saw David even drink a beer. <laughs> Weird. Didn't know David was so punk rock. <laughs> yeah, me and David won't be sharing any playlist. Wonder where David got this police scanner. Okay, how does this thing work? Uh, okay. Only gotta search between 140 and 160. Is it? Uh, Sam's? Oh, <laughs> now we can spy on the cops all the way to Mexico. <laughs> Thanks, David. You big rebel. Mom's car is all ready to roll. Did you get the police scanner? <sighs> yep. And I found the police frequency. How about that? Good job. Now, you'll always want to know what they're up to. No surprises on your way to the border. All right. This is the fastest route. When you get there, cross between these two stations. Now. You have to exit the main road and drive through the desert for a while. But Karen's car should be okay. You got all that? Hmm. <laughs> sure. I think so. Sean, you have to know. The police are on your ass. Y you only get one chance here. I'm not trying to be a dick. Just honest. I know, David. Thanks. Here. Have a seat. Don't mean to order you around. Bad habits die hard. And yes, I was suspicious when Karen showed up with you two. But after watching you and your little brother for a while, I think I get what you're going through. Your experience forms you as a person. And I imagine all the shit you've seen and how it's changed you. Pretty much. Not comparing myself, but I had to go through my own hell. In war and at home. I didn't know how to deal with emotions or other people. Are you talking about your stepdaughter? Yeah. Some rich fucking kid shot her at school where I was supposed to protect her. Me and her hated each other on sight. But once I lost her, everything became clear. How selfish and stupid I had been. I should have listened to Chloe, instead of being a bully, 
All of my fuck-ups are crystal clear now. But I'm not gonna fuck this up. Sean, I'm gonna do everything I can to help you get out of here. That's my duty now. But I want to be straight up with you, okay? Yeah, of course. I know you guys got screwed. But you think nobody will ever believe you. But the truth is on your side. You and Daniel can't just hide out forever. Is that how you see yourself in 10 years? If you step up and face the law, you can be free sooner than later. I don't know. I might turn myself in after I see what happens with Daniel. I know you want to settle down first, but keep your options open. Think about it. And Daniel is growing up fast. Too fast. <laughs> That's what I'm worried about. You made it here. So, I know you're on the right path. <laughs> oh, uh, sorry, I really have to take this. Hey, Joyce, right on time. Yeah, I'm good. Finally done setting up. Setting up those solar panels. Okay, old gal. Let's check you out one last time. Hi, Sean. Hey, guys. Swing by our place before you Look leave. at that. What are you? I thought there was only vultures in the desert. I came by to say adios. We're taking off today. No, you're not. Really? Everything okay? Yeah, just time to go. Well, shit. Wish you and Daniel could stay longer. <laughs> Thanks. But the sooner we cross the border, the better. No worries. No worries? Bullshit. That's all we're gonna do until you make it. We will. Thanks to you. And everyone here. You gave us a place to breathe. Sean, I won't drag this out and get bitter. Besides, you and Daniel will be back to visit, right? We'll try. I'm glad this place will be our last U.S. memory. You and your little brother will always have friends here. And a home. <laughs> okay, I'm done babbling. I just hate goodbyes. I know you're both gonna have a great life in Mexico. You better. Uh, we... We're gonna make it work. <sighs> Shit, I'm gonna miss you guys. Take care, you hear? Watch out for Daniel. He needs you. Be safe. And send us a postcard to the beach. Going on. Mm, I'm taking a look at this baby with hindsight. So, what do you think? <laughs> well, looks a bit off, or something. Hmm. I agree. Something's not right. 
I'll figure it out. Or give it up. I love it! So, you guys leaving now? Yeah, just wanted to say goodbye. Ah, that's sweet. <laughs> You're so sweet. Your brother is so sweet. Having you boys around <laughs> was the sweetest thing. This is for all your help. Really? Whoa. That's great. Uh, do I get anything? <laughs> your name is on a way bigger sculpture. For everyone to see. That's true. I didn't think about that. Yeah, your brother needed a little something to remind him of the artist inside. <laughs> Wicked. Okay, one big hug. And get out of here before we all start crying like babies. <laughs> Thank you, Joanne, for everything. Just please take care of yourself. And my special apprentice. <laughs> no worries. We always do. Hey, is it okay if I hang out a bit longer? <laughs> if it's okay with her. Oh, are you kidding? I need more help. So long, Sean. Don't be a stranger. I'll miss you so much, Joanne. Oh, I know, sweetie. I'll miss you too. I had so much fun and inspiration building all these things with you. Hey. Oh. Need any help? Just checking out the levels and cleaning up the filters. So... Do you think your truck will make it all the way to the border? Oh, it will. It's never failed me before. How long have you been driving for? Not long enough. Dad taught me, but... I always had other plans. We didn't go cruising too much. <laughs> Esteban was obsessed with his engines. That doesn't mean you had to be too. <sighs> yeah. He only wanted me to find my own way. <laughs> Whatever that was. Wish I had more time. Listen, Esteban loved you and Daniel for exactly who you are. He would be proud that you're going back to his homeland today. <sighs> Wish he was here with us. It's bullshit that we get to see Puerto Lobos, but he doesn't. I know. But Esteban is still with you. And he always wanted you and Daniel to see where he came from. I don't know anything about Mexico. It's scary. Sean, you're carrying the weight of two people on your shoulders now. It's okay to be nervous. I'm just tired of running. Of causing trouble everywhere we go. Daniel's power is overwhelming, and we don't know where it comes from. But you do know your brother. You'll be there for each other. I just want to get this shit over with. So we can start over. If we can. Your brother sure isn't a little kid anymore. He had to grow up too fast. He wants to be equals. And you guys are gonna have to work together. He may even help you make it. Maybe you're right. You'll figure it out, like you always do. Okay. Better get back to my tune-up. All right. I'll make one last round before leaving. Daniel, do you copy? It's time to wrap it up. Be right there. Over. So, did you get to say goodbye to Away? 
Yeah. Kinda sad. I know. Are we leaving yet? We have to, Anano. Come here. Mom... I... I'm gonna miss you. I'll miss you too, Danny. It was amazing to spend this time with you. I'm so damn proud of you both. And what you're gonna do with your life. And if you ever need me, I'm just around the corner. Okay, Mom. Thank you. Well, Sean, this is it. Thanks, Mom, for being there. Thanks for letting me, son. <sighs> Let's hit the road. Something wrong? We're almost there, okay? <laughs> That's the last time I have to say that. I don't care about that. So... What's the problem? What... What are we gonna do in Puerto Lobos? We don't know anybody. We're like strangers. How long can we live there? As long as we want. We have a house there. That's what Dad wanted, and I know. So, what are we gonna do for money and stuff? <sighs> no worries. We do have some cash. And a power, right? We'll figure it out. Dude, I can't even speak Spanish. How can I make friends or do anything if I can't talk? Everybody likes you, man. You'll be the cool American kid in no time. I can do that. Maybe. You fit in everywhere we go. And we'll get to hang out, too. Um... Well, that sounds okay. I guess. Daniel... I get scared, too, you know? But we'll be... We'll be fine. Okay. I trust you.
bullet so big. Dude, it's just a giant fence. Except it won't keep us in. All units be advised. After the raid on away, there was no sign of Sean and Daniel Diaz. We believe they left within the past few hours. The two brothers are still considered armed and dangerous. Proceed with caution. At this time, only the mother of the fugitives has been arrested. Oh no. Sean, why would they arrest Mom? Why? So they can give her shit. But she didn't do This shit lasts until Puerto Lobos. Unless her car breaks down in the desert. Uh, hey. Sean? Why would they build this? Well, you know, it's a border, man. Is there a wall like this up north? Nah, not really. So, why did they build one here? I don't know, Daniel. That sucks. This is the opposite of Seattle. We're at the end of America. Shit. I didn't think there'd be more than a barbed wire fence out here. So, here we are, Daniel. The end of the road. Finally. Let's get out of here. Yeah. Take it easy. You can do it. to brawl? Uh, almost. It's okay. It's okay. Just breathe. Shh. Breathe. <laughs> we did it! <gasps> we fucked that shit up. <laughs> yes! <sighs> it's all thanks to you. It's gonna be alright now. We've done the hardest part. Thanks for taking me down here, Sean. <laughs> nah. We did it together, man. Come on. Let's go back to the car. Oh man! Oh, I cannot wait to go swimming in the ocean!
would be cool if we could just walk to the beach. Can't wait to go shopping. I'm dying to get some Choco Crisp. Oh man, do they sell those in Mexico? It'll be ah! Daniel. Daniel! Daniel, talk to me! Daniel! Talk to me! Oh. 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 No. No way. Not now. Daniel! Hey! Who are you? Did you shoot my brother? Hey, oh. Oh shit, Madison. I told you it was a fucking kid. Get off of me! Get off of me! Well? Daniel! Is he? He's my brother! He's okay. Bullet just grazed him. Let me him. go! Do not move if you want to keep that arm. Comprende? Keep an eye on the wall. These fuckers blew it up so their friends can cross. Daniel! So what's the plan, huh? I bet there's a dozen more coming through, right? No! We're leaving! Going to Mexico, I swear! Wait, wait. You're trying to break into Mexico. <laughs> That's fucking funny. We're Americans! Americans, damn it! Now it's not legal to blow up walls. That's called terrorism. You get it? Listen, it's a long story. We really are trying to get out of here. You can fucking skateboard across the border ten miles away. So tell me the plan. Hey, don't fuck with us, kid. You're the only ones around. Looks like no one's coming for now. Anyway, don't waste your energy. I bet the Border Patrol has a big plan for you, mister. Madison, come on! We have to deal with this kid. <sighs> Still bleeding. Don't touch him. Get off. D don't move. Uh. What? What the fuck? Get it off. Stop. Get it off. Jesus. What the fuck is going on? What? Where's Spencer? He's off duty today. Why? <laughs> Listen, uh, we have a deal. He knows. Yeah, I heard about this crap. Not happening anymore. Come on, Maddie. Do what the officer says. <sighs> Fuck! How old is he? He's all right, officer. Don't worry. Shut it! You're both coming with me to the station. What? Are you kidding? What? They're illegals! <sighs> Fuck's sake! what I say? Oh. Uh, okay. Up. Up. Take a breath. You okay now? Daniel! What? I, I, I'm sorry, are you Sean? Sean Diaz? You're under arrest. Don't look at me. Estás bien? Sí. Si. 
Yo soy Diego. Mi... Mi esposa Carla. Y este frijolito de aquí es... Uh, es Ángel. Oh, Ángela. Encantado. Eh, soy Sean. ¿Cómo te sientes, hijo? Um, ¿Han visto un niño de 10 años? Es mi hermanito. Nos separaron. Cerca del muro. Está herido. Lo llevaron a la enfermería. Si fuera grave, una ambulancia ya habría venido a buscarlo. Si lo dejaron aquí, quiere decir que está bien. Tranquilo, amigo. Aquí no hacen daño a los niños. I wonder how long they've been here. And why. ¿Saben cuánto tiempo nos van a dejar aquí? No. Esta es la primera vez que intentan cruzar. Me acuerdo de nuestra primera vez. Casi morimos de sed en el desierto. En realidad... Queremos llegar a México. ¿A México? No mames. ¿Pero por qué? Entonces son gringos. Sí, nacimos aquí, pero ahora tenemos que irnos. Todos estamos escapando de algo. Es la tercera vez que intentamos cruzar la frontera. ¿Por qué necesitan cruzar tan desesperadamente? Por las mismas razones que todos. No podemos soportar la inseguridad ni la miseria. En México, la violencia tiene muchas formas. No se puede vivir así. Cuando mi hermano fue secuestrado y, y asesinado por una pandilla, nos fuimos. Si hubiésemos podido quedarnos, nos habríamos quedado en nuestro pueblo, pero queremos darle una vida, una vida mejor a nuestro hijo o hija. Es lo que hizo mi papá. Se fue de México cuando murieron sus padres. Para ganarse la vida. Pero yo sé que extrañaba a su pueblo natal. Por supuesto. Pero seguro que tuvo sus razones para irse. Como nosotros. No quiero desanimarte, amigo. Pero lo de México... No va a ser fácil para ustedes. Es un país magnífico. Me cuesta muchísimo dejarlo, pero allá va a ser muy complicado cumplir tus sueños. Ya no tengo sueños aquí. Sean, has vivido en este país toda tu vida con un padre mexicano. Y ahora los tiempos han cambiado. ¿Cómo crees que va a ser todo en el futuro? Los tiempos cambian. Pero la gente también. En el camino... Encontré muchos aliados. Ojalá haya menos personas intolerantes en el futuro. Ojalá. Cuando eres extranjero, tienes que trabajar aún más duro para arreglártelas. Así funciona. Oh, shit. Enough now. It's America. We speak English. We're just talking. No, the problem is you people breaking into my country. We come here to work, not, not steal or live at your, at your home. Diego. No, I am so fucking tired. You only come here to cause trouble. And we have to pay for your welfare. You all want a free ride. And that makes me sick. You're generalizing. Not all immigrants cause trouble. <laughs> See, that's what I mean. Lots of them do. Our prisons are full. We only want work and, and, and in peace. Yes. An honest job and the ability to raise our child in a safe country. That's all we're looking for. <laughs> That's what you people always say. But the facts speak for themselves. My dad was an immigrant and he worked his ass off. Raised a family and made a business. 
Yeah, and his son ended up in jail. What a role model. Thanks for proving my point. Damn right, baby girl. You hunt us like, 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 like animals. I don't think I have a choice. I want the safest country for my children. See? You love your family like us. We don't go walking hundreds of miles in the desert and risking everything for no reason. We do it for our child. A mother must understand. No, you and your unborn parasite have nothing in common with me and my family. <laughs> what? Maddie. What you say? <laughs> oh, see? Take it easy. Siéntate, Diego. Solo vas a empeorar las cosas para ustedes. Tienes razón, amor. No vale nada. Uh, whether you people like it or not, we're not gonna give you a break. You're in jail too, loser. Why are we stuck down here with them? You know us. We're helping you, goddammit! Hey! You have the right to remain silent, so fucking use it, okay? <sighs> All right. Diaz, you're up. How's my brother? Don't worry about him. Now turn around. Hands behind your back. Okay. Let's move it. All right, sit down. Where's my brother? He's doing fine for a kid who got grazed by a bullet. Lost some blood, but he's tough. They're taking care of him at the infirmary. You want coffee? Okay. Good. Be right back. <sighs> Fuck. Great. Now I can put on a fucking show. I hope he's all right. You know, I got a question. Don't you know how dangerous it is out here? Oh, shit. Is it morning already? What? Haven't seen how am I gonna get myself out of this mess. I'm going to. <laughs> no point in getting these off. There are cops everywhere. So tired of all this shit. When will we get a break? You understand? Why am I in here? Hey! 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 Let me out of here! Why I'm not illegal! I'm a sovereign citizen! Open up! Hey! What are you babbling about now? Do you ever just not yell. It's been a long fucking night. We're all sick of your shit. If I have to come back here again, you're going to solitary. Got it? There you go. Looks like you need it. Thanks. All right. Let's see. Hmm. Okay. Damn. Seriously? No. Shit. Yeah. Coffee's gonna make me feel so much better. Uh, At least it'll keep me up. Jeez. That's quite a crime spree. It's hard to believe what kids can do nowadays. 
killing that officer in Seattle, vandalizing a motel room, caught in a, another weird explosion at a pot farm in California. Then you join a religious commune in Nevada, hmm. oh, which ends up burnt to the ground. And we're not even halfway down the list. One of those things you could get away with, but not all that. It sounds crazy, but I can explain. Explain it to Agent Flores. She's on her way now. She spoke to your mother, who took responsibility for the church fire. She says a lot. Who cares? You don't have any proof. Don't drag her into this, okay? She's a good person. Hey. It's not up to me, kid. Listen. I feel sorry for you. I really do. But denying what you did will only make things worse. It wasn't my fault. All I did was try to survive. Yeah, I guess you did. You know, I read the report. You claim that Officer Matthew's death was an accident. So why didn't you wait for the police? I panicked, okay? Then it was too late. We were already criminals. Well, it's no reason to make things worse by running away, kid. Good news is, your brother's too young to be prosecuted. He'll end up with your grandparents, if they want him. But you're facing a shitload of years between bars. At least he'll get a life. Uh, what I don't get is how two kids can destroy so much stuff. I mean, anywhere you went, something blew up. Seriously. How? Those were just random accidents. Yeah, it's crazy, but it just happens around us. I can't explain it. Uh-huh. Listen, once is an accident. Twice is luck. Three times is enemy action. Whoa! What is that? Sir? I don't think you should... Keep your ass in that seat. You okay? How do you feel? I, I'm okay. Just a little headache. Hold on. Dude, we gotta go. Hold up. Is he okay? I I wanted to rescue you, but I I had to use my power. I didn't want to hurt him. He's okay. Don't worry. Mom, Bullshit. we gotta go. Get us out of here. Let's get enough. Shall we try to make peace with these morons? Who are these people? Well, Carla and Diego. They came all the way from Mexico and got thrown in jail. He's out for the count. How the fuck did you criminals get out, huh? Maddie, don't. Good thinking, Daniel. I killed him? No, no. He's okay. Okay, hands oh, up! Oh, shit! Don't right move! Shoot! Hands up! Do not move! Wait! Sean. Stay back, Daniel. Let me think. Sean, what do I do? Quick. I gotta find something to stop him. The muck, the dude! Down. Don't say What's going down. on? They're dangerous! Be careful! The chair. We will shoot if we need to! What Understand? The fuck? I'm scared. Okay, what the do fuck? Something. Do not move! Don't do anything stupid! Crush them! Now! No! I don't want to kill them! You're right. Next plan. This is a 
Throw that locker. I... didn't want to hurt anybody anymore. You saved us. You had no choice. Now, oh, let's bail. Sean, I think our things are in there. Let me open this. Don't move. I'll be right back. Uh, okay, but be quick. Look at that. Crime Central. After this, you're not gonna hunt shit anymore. I must really feel threatened to put so much effort into this. Bet it belongs to one of these trigger-happy people. There's probably more of them coming! Let's go! Pretty good memory. From a pretty bad place. Come on, Sean! We gotta go! We would be so dead if we didn't have Daniel's power. Take it out, Daniel. Time to go. Hurry, Sean! Drive! Nobody is chasing us. Not yet. Emergency! This is an all points bulletin for every unit in the area. Two prisoners, both teenagers, have escaped using violent force from the El Rey police station. They are considered armed and dangerous. Repeat. Are we still going to Mexico? Yeah. We got nowhere else to go. Sean. It's the 4th of July. Our first one without Dad. You're right. Remember how he was so in the fireworks every year? He always made us go too early so we could get a good spot. <laughs> I know. He is so corny. He said he was proud to live in this country. Sean, what are we going to do? Sean! Sean Diaz! It's over! Don't make this worse! Get out of the car! Slow! Wave your head above your head! Do exactly what I say!
You know that day? In Seattle. The day Dad was shot. I think about it every day. And I would give anything to change what happened. But I can't. I'm sorry for my mistakes. I tried my best. I swear. Sean. I'm so proud of you, Anano. Just like Dad would be. We both learned a lot together. But you can make your own rules now. If we surrender, they will separate us, Daniel. And if that happens, promise me that you will always do the right thing, okay? Don't waste your power. Be smart like you already are. I don't want to be separated. Whatever happens, always remember that you're Daniel Diaz. I promise, Sean. So, how does the story of the Wolf Brothers end? Their story ends right here. Here? But I, I could. I get it. That's not who we are. Exactly. We're not criminals. We're just kids. And we still have time to choose. What life we want to live. You're my brother. And I love you. I... I love you too, Sean. It's gonna be alright. I promise. You promise? For real this time? I do. We're doing the right thing. Just... Try and remember what I taught you. I mean, only the good shit. I will. I swear. I'm sorry about all this. We're gonna look after your brother. That's my word. Okay, he's ready. Sean! No! Sean! Okay. Oh, yeah, okay. Come back. He's gonna be fine. Daniel! 
You're not a little wolf anymore. Never forget who you are. Never.
So, how does the story of the Wolf Brothers end? They make it to the other side. What? You sure? Trust me, okay? Just get us through. Hold on tight. Oh, fuck. I don't wanna! I'm not hurting anyone else! Sean! Open fire! Them. It's too late! They're shooting at us, Daniel! This is the only way! Sorry, Sean, but I have to go. What? What are you talking about? Don't turn back for me. Daniel! I hope you'll be happy in Mexico.